guys, Hello Bella here. Today I am at the Graham Creek Nature Preserve in Foley, Alabama, and I'm going to be doing this little boardwalk trail, and hopefully we're going to see some wildlife here. I've already seen a lizard and a squirrel, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled, and I'm about to start walking quietly and softly so that I can see as much as possible. This is um, something that I've wanted to do for a while. Let's go explore trails in the Foley Gulf Shores area. I've been to a lot of them, um, but I have not been to this one. So it's always a cool day when you can see a new trail. So I'm excited to see if we can see any wildlife while we're here. I'm actually living in Gulf Shores for a month. I decided to do this because I wanted to see if it was an area that I would want to consider moving to permanently. So I'm really excited to kind of be doing this and be seeing the area and kind of checking everything out. This first trail I went on is the boardwalk. It's all really flat and it's directly behind the interpretive center. So it's very easy to locate it. I just parked at the interpretive center and then walked behind it to the right. And that is the trailhead. I think I might be immature. Titty. <laughs> Little uh, anole. Oh, and he just hopped on the tree. Never to be seen again. So today we have some pretty cool stuff that we're going to be seeing. Um, squirrel, pretty par for any nature trail got my binoculars with me so if I need to see something far away or some birds or something like that I'll be able to do that I think he's mad. He's starting to flare up on me. Oh, see that? See where he stuck his little neck out? He's mad. Same lizard we saw earlier, just uh, they can change from brown to green. And I'm guessing he didn't see me coming. <laughs> It's neat seeing these, but I do have these at home, so I'm going to keep going and see if I can find something else because, you know, when you're on a new trail, you want to see a new creature. Yesterday, I went to the pier in Gulf Shores, and I saw five sharks, a sea turtle, and a school of manta rays or stingrays i'm not sure which one um didn't get a close enough look to see um but yeah i mean I, there's so much wildlife here a lot of people don't realize like alabama is one of the most biodiverse states in the united states we have a lot of different types of environment and you know with the gulf of mexico being here we also have you know the ocean i've had some people say i didn't know alabama had beaches um yeah we have some of the greatest beaches honestly in my opinion we have a lot of things to see and a lot of things to share with the world so it's fun to be exploring my home state in a different way one thing that I think is great about this trail is that it's very easy to get to. The interpretive center or the learning center here has bathrooms and they actually have some animals that you can look at um, and they have tons of different maps and trails here besides this one. And then not to mention the best part about it is that it's all flat. So you don't have to struggle too hard to do this trail, especially in the heat. I mean, if you try to come out here during the summer, it's gonna be so hot. So having a flat trail is awesome. And in addition to that, I mean, it's just a little bit easier with kids. If you've got like a stroller, it's a little bit easier to do something like this than to do, um, you know, 
something that you have to go through the dirt and the mud. It's just kind of nice to be able to take a leisurely walk and still be like right in the forest and right, uh, you know, in the thick of being able to see everything. So I'm really thankful that I came out here today and tried to see this place. Um, and then you got a nice little picnic table here where you can stop and eat um, that has a little pond. And I brought myself some uh, snacks. So I'm probably about to sit down and have some of my snacks. So one tip I have for you is that if you want to identify different plants and animals and fungus and things like that, you can download the Seek app. It's actually a free app and all you do is either take a picture of it or you can point your camera at it and it will tell you what the species is and if it doesn't know exactly it will still give you a like estimate based on what it thinks the uh, genus is and so it's just a really cool app. I use it a lot. There goes another lizard but I think he crawled underneath before I could get to him. So I do use that app a lot because I'm certainly no expert when it comes to identifying plants and animals but I think it can be useful because I mean you can definitely see like what things maybe have irritants in them and what things not to touch and it also is just cool to be learning about a different area just to be able to point your phone at something and learn about it is just extremely cool for instance if I could reach those uh, pieces of fungi on that tree over there it would probably tell me what those are as well in terms of the climate today uh, we're towards the end of April and it's about 72 degrees so it's, it's a little breezy sun's still out so it's still pretty warm but um, overall it's it's a good time to go walking I have been on some trails here in the summer and it was almost unbearable just to kind of be outside because it's so hot and you have to drink so much water so I think I would definitely recommend exploring here in the cooler months if you're going to do that I am really just admiring all these different wildflowers that grow out here. Um, I used the Seek app again to tell me what they were because, of course, I don't know. Um, but it seems like all of these trails are very well kept. That's always nice because sometimes you get to a place and, you know, you just reach a point in the trail where it doesn't go any further where it was supposed to go further. So I'm really enjoying it. It seems like somebody is cutting the grass over in the main area. So you're not exactly super remote here. Um, it's still pretty close to town, so I feel pretty safe here. One thing about hiking alone as a woman is a lot of people say you shouldn't do it, but honestly, I think it's kind of stupid to live your life like that. Um, honestly, some of the worst things that have ever happened to me happened when I was with a lot of other people or happened in a highly populated area. So. Um, you know, I, I think <laughs> nothing bad's ever really happened to me in the woods except maybe getting tired and running out of water or something like that. But for the most part, the woods have always been kind to me and it's been a place where I can relax and sometimes, you know, kind of feel like I can get outside of my own head. I'm not being constantly stimulated, you know, by my phone or by something like that, so... Trigger warning if you don't like spiders, look away. This guy kind of caught me by surprise. I was trying to look at some of the plants and I looked down and saw that hole and I was like, what's up with the hole? And then I saw him, he's blending in really well with everything, so terrifying. I do not know if this is a good idea or not, but we're about to go take Snake Range Trail and see what we see because... You never know, we might find a little snake, a real one, not a tattooed one. I don't mind seeing snakes, I think it's kind of exciting and for the most part, unless you sneak up on them, they don't really want to bother you or be around you and I really can identify with that. So we will walk quietly and see if we see a snake. I'm not used to going on trails with sand, that's something new. <laughs> Uh, not a lot of sand in North Alabama, honestly. Mostly just dirt, so a new concept for me. Haven't seen a snake yet. I've only been walking about five minutes. I did start to get more into the woodsy area and haven't really seen much water either. Looks like there would be water over here, but it's kind of dried up right now. So. Oh, there we got some more water here. I knew there would be water eventually.
you know, one time I was looking at a body of water and a snake fell out of a tree. It did not land on me, but it was pretty damn close. And that taught me to uh, be aware when you're under trees because things do fall out of them. Nice little uh, chill marker there. We got a little playing card. Somebody worked hard on that. I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. A really creepy rabbit. Let me turn around and see it from this point of view. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Man, it is getting loud. That plane is close by. Let me see if I can see it. It's hard to see through all the trees. I think we're close to Pensac Pensacola Airport. Uh, but we may also be close to a smaller airport. I think Gold Source has an airport. I may be wrong. Somebody let me know in the comments. So far, no snakes on Snake Trail. As soon as I say that, I'll see one. We definitely got some, uh, some prints here. I don't know if this is from, uh, someone's dog or what. I'm not exactly Daryl Dixon. I'm not a tracker, so I couldn't tell you, but kind of need to see that. Let me get out of the mud while I can. Oh, shit. So this is something that is pretty interesting, and I don't think I've ever actually seen this before. It's a bat box. It's up on a tree. Um, I did not know that existed, but it's kind of cool to see something like that. They seem to do, um, in Gulf Shores and Foley, they seem to do a lot of conservation work, and it, it's kind of cool to see um, cities that care about the environment, and, you know, despite the fact that there is a massive amount of construction going on here, they do seem to be trying to preserve what they have, and you can tell that when you come to visit these areas, that there are, you know, so many different nature trees trails that you can visit so I hope that you'll go out and explore it. All right guys that is it for today that was the Graham Creek Nature Preserve. Y'all have a good one and I will catch you in the next video.